gentlemen, do you know that there is a UFO and an alien living behind this forest of Kimberley? I just saw a UFO and an alien flying right above this building a few minutes ago. Okay, raise your hand if you completely trust me. Okay, some of you would, but most of you would think I'm crazy or something. Then how about the news announcer? If a news announcer said, scientists have just witnessed a flying object in Pingsong and found out it was a UFO, would you then believe it? I bet almost all of you would, without a doubt, accept this fact. What's the difference? Why do people believe the news and not an 18-year-old girl? Well, obviously the news has higher credibility compared to a non-expertized student. The reason why I ask such an easy question is to explain my future dream. Four years ago, I once saw news about a father who killed his wife and his son. This was a scary, terrifying incident that happened during that time. And two years later, another news appeared. It was titled, The Truth of the Family Murder, and discussed this murder incident that happened two years ago. It revealed the truth of this incident, revealing the fact that the real murderer was not the father, but the man living in the neighborhood. This was a horrible mistake made from the reporters of mass media. But citizens reacted as if it was none of their business. Okay, it might just simply look like a reporter's simple mistake, but in the perspective of an innocent man who had to spend two years being called as a murderer who killed his family, this is definitely a weighty problem. I mean, would you want to live in the world that calls him a killer when he actually is not the real criminal? Of course not. His two years have been wasted, and his whole life was affected. This hasty, careless news report destroyed his entire life. That's why news announcers or reporters can be murderers. Once they spread wrong information, they can kill an innocent person's normal life within a second. The power of news, newspaper, and mass media is unlimited. When I say mass media, I do not mean entertainment media like Facebook or Twitter. I mean institutions with public trust, such as news or newspapers. These organizations have public confidence. They have the power to control people's minds and actions. Because people undoubtedly believe everything what the news say, there are so many situations where political authorities abuse mass media's power. There are lots of um, incidents related to corruption charges. Former President Ms. Park offered a bribe to Samsung Company, and some of the bribes were also used for mass media foundations. One representative of a publishing company received a large amount of money, 100 million won, from a nominated candidate and was ordered to write about a specific article exaggerating the candidate's achievements. Furthermore, one KBS news announcer received a large amount of money and an expensive watch and was ordered to write about a specific article. As you can see from these examples, so many political authorities deceive citizens by misusing public trust. They distort information to make it beneficial for them. People are actually aware of this fact. They know that news has exaggeration and beautification in some point. But the problem is, even though people are aware of this fact, not many people try to challenge or question those. While watching news or reading newspapers, not many people try to ask, is this information true? Is this information really reliable? Etc. They just accept these information without hesitation. They ignore the possibility of fake information. Living in this kind of social atmosphere, I then realized that I was actually a salmon in this society. For me, being a salmon is asking questions to things people find no problems at all, and having doubts on information people accept without hesitation. In short, being a salmon for me is thinking and behaving differently. It is totally different from being wrong. As I said before, people unconsciously believe everything the news say. That's why picking your errors up the news is extremely reckless in this society. When I was in elementary school, my teacher once showed us the news about a thief who stole some money from the bank. And when the reporter was interviewing a witness, I, a young girl back then, full of curiosity, raised my hand and asked my teacher, 
future, that witness might be lying. All of a sudden, silence. All students were staring at me as if I said something wrong. My teacher's face was asking me, are you nuts? After a long embarrassing pause, my teacher coughed up it and answered, do not make dangerous predictions. This is the news. News can't be lying. Okay, to be honest, I couldn't understand. I couldn't find what's the real solution and what's the problem. I mean, witness is also a human. Why can't he or she be lying? What my teacher meant was that because news always has actual facts, they have factual information, they have evidence, they have proof, that's why people tend to believe news. But what if the evidence itself turned out to be false? What if the witness assumed someone was the criminal and turned out to be wrong? Or worse, what if the interviewer made a secret promise with the interviewee? All of these are actually possible. And you know what? Some of these are actually happening in current society. So I wanted to raise my hand again, but my friends were staring at me, and my fellow my friends were looking daggers at my back. So I lost confidence. It was an easy question I could ask whenever I wanted to, but the question society members won't understand. Not many people dare to question mass media. People unconsciously believe and accept everything that you say. That's why more and more political parties abuse mass media's power, and it gets worse as time passes. That's when I started dreaming to become an announcer. I dreamed to work in mass media organization. The funny thing is, I criticized mass media for being too snobbish, materialistic, and acting as a slave of the government. But at the same time, I dreamed to work in mass media. And you might ask, why? Why would I want to live in a place where I criticize the most? Because I believe the best way to solve mass media's inner problems is to personally go into that place and figure out by myself. As a citizen, even though some people are aware of the bribery exchange going on between the government forces and mass media, not many people can actually challenge and criticize it openly to the public because they lack evidence. <clears throat> Furthermore, not many citizens can actually challenge and change mass media unless they are in the high status of the society. But as already known, rich people, wealthy people, people who have a lot of power and authority, they abuse mass media's power into their own authority. That's why it's meaningless. That's why I believe that the best way to solve mass media's problems is to become a member of mass media organization and find out the illegal actions with my own eyes. Then I have the right to make my own voice and criticize it openly to the public. To be honest, I'm quite not sure what I could do after I scold mass media for being dishonest towards the citizens. Right now in current society, as an announcer, what announcers do is to receive the script, read the script as it is like a robot, and that's the end of their job. So I want to make a slight change in announcer's duty when I become an announcer. I am willing to check whether the reports the reporters made are written carefully and researched deeply in order to minimize the errors for a long period of time. Anything that comes out of mass media's mouth, that's exactly what citizens believe. Announcers and reporters should be aware. They should realize how strong and powerful their words are and how big the impact is to the public. Everything that announcers and reporters say, citizens accept it and believe that's true. What if they research it not deeply? What if they told wrong facts? It is going to become a disaster. The most reason why most announcers do not dare to make voices out loud inside the public of mass media is because they're afraid of getting fired or they're afraid of getting scolded by the top managers. So my younger sister once asked me, aren't you afraid? I couldn't answer the question right away. I need time to think. So after I pondered, I finally made the answer. Definitely, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of getting fired. I'm afraid of getting scolded by the managers. But at the same time, I do not want to sit by and watch the wrongdoings going on in front of my eyes. It is a time for us to make a change. It is a time for us to make a move. I am no longer going to remain as a spectator anymore. So to sum up, there are two ways to become a salon in my case. So first of all, as a citizen, asking questions and having doubts on information
information people accept without hesitation is the first step to become a zealot. And after I become an announcer, being a member of mass media organization, criticizing mass media with public trust is another way to become a zealot for my case. There are certain things a society wants us to behave. There are certain things a society calls us being normal. When a society wants me to act normal, and my heart tells me to be different, I am definitely going to choose my own free will. I believe that's exactly what a citizen should do in a society. Find out contradictions, find out problems, and solving these problems one by one. Okay, you might wonder why I am so sensitive about past few examples. First, it's not past. Mass media problems are still happening nowadays, continuously going on, and it gets worse as time passes. And second, it's not few, it's a lot, yet not detected. Have you ever heard about the number 240 bus accident? It happened on September 11th, in this year, so it's really current issue. And a one citizen uploaded an SNS report, SNS message, criticizing the bus driver for not stopping the bus for the mother who lost her child to the former station. The incident happened this way. The child accidentally left the bus in the wrong station, and the bus left. The mother, who noticed it a few seconds later, cried for help, but the bus driver ignored her and even used swear words at her. That was what was written in Esther's message. You'll expect what the citizens will react. They criticized mass media. They criticized the fact that the bus driver just left away. They criticized the bus driver for using swear words at the mother. Usually, reporters and announcers in mass media love these kinds of incidents. They were overwhelmed to report this kind of incident. That was the problem, and that was the start of the problem. A few days later, one reporter finally found out the actual truth. He researched the CCTV and interviewed the bus driver and found out that the SNS message information and the actual truth was extremely wrong. It was really different. The truth was that the bus driver did not ever swore at the mother, and the bus driver inevitably needed to stop the bus at the next station because of the safety of other passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reality. This is what exactly is happening around the world. News announcers and reporters do not try to research information deeply, but they rather try to follow the social atmosphere. When people criticize this, the news announcers try to criticize this also. Why? Because they do not want to be blamed by the citizens. This is wrong, and this should be fixed. Do you still think this is not a sensitive problem? This is a problem that should be fixed as quickly as possible. The word citizen contains a lot of meanings. As an individual, of course, you might be weak, you might look weak. But individuals are usually the ones who actually make the first step. After an individual makes the beginning of the change, other people start gathering around the individual, other people start supporting the individual, and that leads to a big change in society. That is why I need your help. I want you all to become a member, a salmon in the society of mass media, in the society of what we're living in. Being a salmon is not something wrong, it's just being quite different. The only problem is that taking the very first step is extremely difficult. But after we take the first step, things get much easier. Please, do not ignore the possibility of fake, exaggerated, beautified, or wrong information. Everything is actually possible. Have conscience and be aware while watching news or reading newspapers. I am right now here to encourage you all to become a satellite society with me. While I fight with the corruptions, I want you all to gain confidence in criticizing mass media with public trust. Being a salmon is not something wrong, it's being different. Why don't you all become a salmon with me? Just be a salmon and be different. It's something never wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, mass media needs more people like me. Mass media needs more salmon like me. And lastly, mass media desperately needs your help. Why do we make an honest mass media? Why do we make a change? Let's make it together. Thank you for listening.